and how are you today? So, I am so excited. I got a new phone and that means I finally have a new way to film this. <laughs> um, my phone, my other phone was just jacked up and dying. And so it would take me so long to film a video. So I'm excited that I have a new device <laughs> on which to do this project. So today I want to talk to you about this book I've been reading and I actually haven't even finished it but I am so blown away by it that I thought we'd talk about it today. Uh, it's called Mindset and um, it was recommended to me by one of my coworkers at my new job. I've been doing business development for a software company and I really, really like it. It's been a lot of fun. I do it part time, um, but simply because my kids are still the priority and as they as they get more into school this fall, I'll amp up my hours. But right now, it's been it's been really fun. I enjoy it. So um, this is recommended to me by someone I work with, and it's actually been a book that the entire our entire company has read and have garnished wisdom from. So it's basically about growth mindset versus fixed mindset. And I knew like this had been introduced to me a while ago, probably five or six years ago. I can either be a victim and have fixed mindset mentality or I can be proactive and have a growth mindset. So I thought I had that and then I started reading this book and I realized that there are areas that I adopted it very well and then there were other areas where I was still really fixed in my thinking. <laughs> so let me give you some background. But basically, uh, when I was in fourth grade, I was tested for uh, gifted and tal talented education and I had been told by everyone and their mother that I was bright, that I was smart, that I was intelligent and then I was tested and passed to get into this program and I started in the fourth grade and um, a lot of the kids that I had started going to school with um, I, I like had to change schools and like it was this very specific program anyway the kids that I had started going to school with I ended up going to school with all through senior year so I would watched this group kind of progress alongside of me but I always felt like I was the one being left behind. I felt like the dumb one. I felt like I couldn't keep up academically. I felt like I was straining to keep my GPA on point and it, it wasn't even close to what these other kids were doing. Like we had five valedictorians in my graduating class. It was so fierce. And so this had started for me in fourth grade, this thinking that oh, I'm smart, I'm intelligent. Um, and it kind of, I think it paralyzed me in the, the worst way because it didn't it didn't cause me to try hard it kind of caused me to rest and be and be happy with being mediocre because I felt like that was that was where I was like yes I'm in this gifted and talented program but all these other kids are so much smarter than me and there's no way I can hold a candle to what they're capable of so so it did kind of cause me to just be me a mediocre student like I got A's B's and C's but I wasn't ever on top with my GPA. And I think that the classes and assignments I got A's on wasn't because I tried hard. It might have just been because that particular information came, you know, came easy to me and I was able to get through it. But like in the math area especially, I was very I was very behind. I was never able to get on top as a math student. And so I skated by with C's couple of D's and that's just where I was and so so I'm reading this book mindset and I'm realizing oh my gosh they're literally describing my life because he talks about the kids that are in gifted and talented education and how they're told that they're smart and they're told that um, that they've been given an ability rather than they have to put forth put forth effort and so I just had this aha moment this week and I learned that I've had growth mindset specifically in fitness. I feel like that's where I've really taken off with a growth mindset. Um, I wanted to adopt this in every er other area of my life instead of having this horrible mentality that like when something's going wrong, it's like woe is me, this person's just smarter than I am, this person's just prettier than I am, this person has more money than I do. And what a horrible paralyzing place to be. So. Um, I kind of was like, forget that. I'm going to start um, reminding myself of who I am and and who God has created me to be. And I'm going to just silence those lies with, with truth instead. And so I, like I've adopted this spiritually and I used to get really, I feel really guilty. Like, oh, I didn't read my Bible today. I didn't spend time with God today. And instead of that, I'm like, okay, 
I was able to be in my Bible four times this week. Like, way to be. That was four more times that I would have not been had I not opened my Bible at all. So, like, I think it's really just about perspective and what you're willing to, how you're willing to frame it for yourself. Because I keep having to remind myself that, like, Christ did not come to um, condemn, but to save the world. And so I need to be thankful that, that I have the love of Jesus and that I have the ability to be thankful and that I've been blessed with so many things, um, some tangible, some intangible. And I'm just really, like, it, it just really, it was an aha moment for me. Like, I was reading this in the middle of the night, kind of, like, crying in my bed. I had woken up with my son and... Um, he had growing pains and I wasn't able to go back to sleep. So it was almost like God, God showed that to me and it wasn't even, it wasn't even like a spiritual book or anything, but I was, I was shown and given this aha moment of like, I can do better for my life and I can rest in the fact that I can always try and I can always put forth hard work and hard effort. I just really like that way of thinking. I think when people are stuck in their lives, it's probably because they've never heard this before and they're not able to move past all the negative things that they were maybe told as a kid, or maybe they had they didn't have anyone to tell them or encourage them, you can do this. You um, were made for amazing things. Like work hard, here, I'm gonna help you while you work hard. Like I think that is such a gift we can give our kids. And so I'm really excited to have learned that for myself this week. And like I said, like this is an ongoing thing, but that, what I learned this week was in such a greater capacity that it's just opened me up to a world of I'm blown away, like I've said before. More reason for uh, me and my husband to be able to parent well and like I want to pass this on to you all because it's not something we need to keep for ourselves. Like if we just remember this isn't what we're, the, the hand we're dealt in life is not, that has no determination we're with that has no determination for where we'll end up. Like like I've put on this channel, let's go get messy, have fun and learn. I truly mean that. Like mistakes are to be celebrated, I feel like, because every mistake you make is a chance for you to go, okay, what did I do wrong? What can I do def different next time? And what can I do better? And if you're always thinking that way, when you make a mistake, it's not gonna be paralyzing. You're not gonna be like, oh, I'm not perfect. I don't have this all together. Well, literally none of us are perfect. So can we just make the best of it and choose to do better by the people around us? So I just wanted to share that. I hope you're doing great this week. That is what I learned this week. I hope that all encourages you and I will see you again next week. Go get messy, have fun, and learn.